Good morning, everybody. Today we're gonna change the the oil in my semi truck. Come along with me. And just some regular maintenance. And batteries were dead, so it didn't start. First things first, into the fuel filter and the fuel water separate. All right. So I always like to use Packard filters on Packard motors. They're real finicky. Um, yes, you can get a Baldwin. Uh, I've used the Baldwin before, but I just feel like keeping an OEM so it doesn't act up on me been good to me ever since so so new filter in that one's changed that one's changed once we finish the old change when we start it, we're gonna open up this little bleeder valve, bleed out the fuel system, so this filter can get full of diesel and uh, bleed out the system so there's no air in the fuel system. But let's go do the oil filters now. So these are the two oil filters. Uh, it's a big 32 millimeter socket, I believe. You'll see it right now. Uh, I'm just gonna unscrew those, pop the new ones in, uh, there is a spinner filter bearing in this one, I believe, that we're going to double check. Uh, sometimes they come loose. We might put a little Loctite this time so it can stay in. Um, I've seen it kind of come undone a little bit, so we're going to check that out. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Got my socket. Inch and a quarter. Half inch wrench. I'm going to bust it loose. Loose. Other one loose. Come on, come on, there we go. Oh shoot. I need both hands. Get that one loose. Just come right out. These are uh, unnecessary sensors out of the way. Might be coil. Shipping. So I'm at about twenty thousand miles this truck, no oil change. Um haven't done an oil sample yet, but it doesn't burn any oil, so um gonna check it out later. The spinner filter that comes out the other housing right there actually spins in the housing. So you always got to make sure that this bearing in there is always in good shape. So let's see if it's loose. Nope, oh, nice and tight. That's good. Last time it was loose and I snugged down a good amount. So as long as that's tight and that's good and not wobbly, we should be good to go. The stock ones are, I believe, a plastic little piece of bearing, I'd say, I guess. They get worn out and you lose oil pressure. These are the new updated ones. It's a steel or I believe steel um, bearing. Snug that down. There we go. Let's pop the new ones in. All right, filters are in. Make sure you always change the O-rings that go on the cap. It comes with the filter, so do it. Now, now we're gonna drain the oil. I use this 17 gallon bucket that I bought at Lowe's. I think it was like 20 bucks or something like that. Fits right under there. Look at that. I'm gonna drain that oil and then we're gonna top it off. So we're here under the truck. This is an H12 Allen head. I'm still I have any both hands for this. There we go. Can 
do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? <sighs> Clean. I'm gonna let that drain. So while the oil drains, got some nice brake clean here. I'm just gonna hit this up just so we can clean off all the diesel running out. I'm gonna hit the oil side as well. Make sure that's clean. All right, cave's done draining. Let's put the plug back in. Oh shoot. Have the way, clean it up, and then add some oil. So we got some mold dough back, 1540, and a gallon of Lucas. Started at Walmart, about 13 14 bucks a gallon. So it's the cheaper oil, but I've been running ever since, so it's been doing me good. Got the funnel in there, a little Lucas in there, and let that drain, and then we're gonna put about nine of those in, and then fire it up and check the oil okay so topped off the oil now we're gonna break that loose fire it up leave the fuel out of the system let the oil go through all the filters shut it down and then recheck the oil level and top it off so let me show you how that's done got my toilet in your socket Keep around there break it loose not a lot just a little bit to where the fuel starts coming out we're gonna fire it up and uh, we'll come back right to it to see how the fuel bleeds out. Sorry, camera was a little dirty. Had to clean it. Make sure it's not in here. little mishap had to shoot it with some starting fluid fired right up now check it out let it load done ready for a washington trip on washington trip on tuesday there we go done